what we have, but I'll always say it like it is like the daily news. Our biggest challenge as women is lack of independent clarity of thought. We always want to fit in to a certain group. We do not want to go ahead with what we believe in our minds. We are afraid that people are going to judge you. People are going to say this about me. But you have to be able to stand up and define who you are as a woman. Africa was a matriarch way before colonization. That is why in our own African traditions, we say Nikam Kats, Mushamu Kats. I had to go back way into history and learn that the Queen of the Kings fought single-handedly, led an army, and defeated the white people. But that is history we never taught at school. We have the Queen Zingas. We've got the Ashanti tribe in Ghana that led wars, Queen Kilo, Cleopatra. We have plenty of queens in Africa who led wars. Queen Zinga fought on horseback, led an army. But here, we've got women saying, what capacity does she have? Who is she sleeping with? Those are the things they start talking about. How many children does she have? How many men did she sleep with? Is that a woman's capacity to lead? And it is us, the women, who do that to each other. We are the same people who attack each other and pull each other down. Instead of numbers of women increasing in parliament, in council, in different spaces, they are decreasing because of us women. We will rather take sides with the men. We will not take sides with each other. I remember in 2018 when some went to the doctor to Ozan, who I went to the other way, the other side. My own personal friends stopped talking to me because I supported Dr. Some of them are in this room. <laughs> they want to start talking to me right now. <laughs> no, we have to talk about realities of us women politics. So what I'm basically saying is, we have to see it and believe it and be stronger together and be our sister's keeper. Men across the political divide their businesses together. They drink together. They do a lot of things together. But us women, we are afraid of interacting together because we are not in the Ashima. I spoke to this person who is, who is criticizing my president. That is why we don't rise. That is why we are going nowhere. But the issues that affect us as women are the same. They are not different because you are from Zanu Hills, you are from MTC, you are from Lido, or any other political party. Our problems are the same and we should be our sisters. In conclusion, we are always talking about changing the gender stereotypes, changing the way people view women in politics. It all goes back to us. We are the mothers. We raise the boy child who is defeating us at every corner, who is calling us names, who is who's beating us, who is committing all sorts of violence. How are we raising the boy child? Yeah.